she's defragging sort herself out i need to get some more content recorded for this week um i need something straightforward uh da, 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 but people would actually use it uh no that's going to take a, i'm not for doing that right now barrels have already got enough of wet pallet down the line storage box down the line let's see what's in here let's see if there's something that people would actually like to see i know that's a bit of a miracle for the channel but let's have a look yeah i'm a bit of a hoarder <laughs> uh, let's have a look in the part oh how oh, i miss using you <laughs> uh wood barrels oils glue step ah let's show people why i love these so much let's have some fun all right so let's show you why i love this bag all right of tiley goodness mosaic tiles first of all any craft store amazon ebay whatever look up mosaic tiles they're normally made out of plastic nice thing is if you try and manufacture these tiles yourself it's a lot it is cheaper to a certain extent if you bulk buy plastic card or foam board or whatever uh, card and stuff like that but then you've got to cut it and fag go around with that if you're not fussed with them being uneven or anything like that fine problem with using card is when you paint it it can warp and you know go a bit funny whereas these ones here they're not going to warp they're not going to go funny there's no cleanup so size wise on this board here they're just under a centimeter square all right so if you want to find your own down the line by all means look for your centimeters i'll just show you the scaling and i'll show you why i love them because i wanted to add some feature onto my first real push into terrain crafting painting building so so forth so i've got some of this ruin sector um bundle kit from tt combat and i'll go over it how i've done the stone effect later on uh, some other videos but you can see there i just glued it on i just laid them out like you would any tiles or slabs just had a few janky ones on the edge nothing too fancy i just wanted these built painted and playable and neat and tidy for the board and they do the job they just pick up any quick detail that you throw on there nothing too fancy they're just really easy to go so that's one um and here's another one that i put a little bit more effort in on the sides and stuff like that but you see there hopefully you can pick it up in the camera picked up any you know paint that i put on there as well there's nothing stopping you if you want to have a few more ruined tiles getting these ones because they are plastic so you you will if you're young enough get some supervision all right get some pliers or something uh wire cutters and xyz be careful with your fingers please break them break the tiles if you want i just being honest i was being lazy <laughs> but i'll probably do it down the line but i'll grab some miniatures a minute so you can actually see some scaling of these so these are on the board okay so you know they're just under one one centimeter squared uh, words help here's a primaris all right so a lot of you may know 32 mil heroic scale unless i'm mistaken they're gonna be big ish slab tiles and then when i compare it to the terrain oh it's like a glove okay so there's room for him to fit under but they it doesn't it doesn't look out of place uh let's try darth vader from star wars legion i think this is more um just 32 mil scale i don't think it's heroic to my knowledge i could be wrong but you see there it's just big tiles that, that's all it is big slabs i would say they're more slabs and tiles because you do have a little bit of thickness to them and here is a batman from night uh, night models words 
help me today um, from their DCU universe. And the nice thing I've noticed with my slab bases I got for them, they actually match up <laughs> size wise. So they are slabs, uh, you know, they're not tiles per se, but just for the bag, for how easy they are to use. But something that came to my mind when I was just looking just then as well, there's nothing stopping you using these for basing material. You know, if you break the tiles and stuff like that, there is nothing stopping you using them on the bases to do rubble bases if you want for your miniatures, whatever it is. But, um, as I said, this is a bit more of a straightforward video. It's not so much craft in it as per se, but it's giving you some gear that you can add to your existing terrain that you want to build down the line. So, as I said, mosaic tiles... These are just under a centimeter. Just pack, grab a bag. You could probably get a bag of a hundred or something for a couple quid on eBay or Amazon. And they're just really, really useful bits. But anyway, if you like this video, please thumbs up. Any feedback, very much appreciated. If you're enjoying the content and you're new to the channel, please subscribe down below, bringing up new content on a weekly basis for you all out there. But anyway, I'll let you all crack on. Hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day. See you around.